What's up, everyone? Welcome to BTI as we get ready for Impact Wrestling right around the corner. What a week it's been for all of us here in Impact Wrestling. We're nine nights away from Rebellion Live on pay-per-view. But Gia, tonight we're going to look back at April 1st in Dallas, Texas. What an event it was. Impact Wrestling's multiverse of matches. Oh, yeah, and we'll start off with a dream tag team match. That was the Good Brothers versus the Briscoes. Look at how calm Gallows and Anderson look right now. They're in firm control. There's no reason for them not to be. Like I said, they're coming into this fresh. And not I, torn and tattered. Oh, and again, back to the forehead. And Jay Briscoe is taking a beating right now from the Good Brothers. And that's why. You guys why they feel so confident. That's why. They know. They can keep going back to that well. And it'll be effective. Oh. Launched himself there at Gallows, trying to take the big man off the apron there. And now Jay Briscoe dies for a tag and mark. Oh! And now Mark Briscoe dealing with a one versus two situation here. Double duty oh. for the Briscoe Pro. What a fake off Anderson and a kick right to the head of Gallows. And right now, that train has been turned around a little bit. Could Good Brothers take control one more time? My goodness. Mark Briscoe knocking Big LG off the apron now. Regaining control of this matchup, slamming the machine gun to the mat. And now, Mark Briscoe feeling fired up in the dead center of the ring, taking the fight continually to the machine gun. Oh! Open palm strike there, and now right on the top turnbuckle is Anderson. Here's the cover. Oh, and Carl Anderson able to kick out. Briscoe was hoping that one would maybe put it away, but Anderson saying not today. Oh, and a full oh. in the face of Gallows. Once again, taking the big man off the apron. Oh. Leaping into the neck breaker. Oh, and a kick out by Anderson. Oh, and Jay Briscoe's got to be careful of putting his hands on the official. He could draw a disqualification. It would be a bad night for the Briscoes if that happens. Tag. Jay Briscoe's forehead is covered in blood. The wounds opening up. The sea of red spilling forth on Jay Briscoe. A huge Line buster. Absolutely. A big right hand there by Gallows. LG looking to clean some house. Oh. Rushing Briscoe in, a cor in the corner. And a double team. The neck breaker by Anderson. Cover. Oh. Kick out by Jay Briscoe. in the matchup, both teams dropping some major blows here, major double team maneuvers. Oh, wait a minute, trying to set up for the magic killer, center of the ring, Mark Brooks going to protect his brother. Oh! Super kick by Jay Briscoe, and all four men are down. into the match. The fans here in Dallas have packed out WrestleCon here to see this matchup. <laughs> but it's the Briscoes. Boom right to the face there by Anderson. Oh, wait a minute. Mark Briscoe rolled through. Great wherewithal there. This is pro wrestling, baby. Going to the top turnbuckle.
Your winners of the match, Doc Gallows, Carl Anderson, the Good Brothers. Uh, uh, we didn't see Chris Bay out there. That must have been what was drawing the officials' attention. That allowed Jay White to go after Mark Briscoe. And that's just how calculated Bullet Club is. I told you, work smart, not hard. Jay White looking to right the wrong from earlier tonight. Bullet Club always on top. An absolutely amazing night in Dallas, Texas for everybody that was a part of it and everyone that watched on Fight TV, Impact Wrestling in April. Biggest weekend of the year. You can't get much better than the multiverse of matches. But don't worry, folks. We got plenty more coming up right here on BTI as we get ready for an all-new Impact Wrestling right around the corner. And still to come, we'll have more action from the multiverse of matches. But we've got action right here on BTI, knockout style, as Madison Rain takes on Jesse McKay. Don't go anywhere, folks. BTI rolls on right after this. Welcome back to BTI as we get ready for Impact Wrestling. It's right around the corner, folks. We're coming to you on Facebook, YouTube, and of course, Impact Plus Rebellion nine nights from now. But gee, I think it's time we go back to Dallas, Texas for an incredible night of multiverse of matches. PCO and Moose versus Jonah and Josh Alexander. We take you to that match right now. Was the ring strong enough to hold these four? Considering Moose and PCO, they've never even shared a ring together. This team has been devastating thus far. PCO now all over Josh Alexander with a walking weapon trying to battle back. Oh, there's no lack of fight in the number one contender. Oh, knee right to the back by Moose, and Alexander fires off. But turned his back on PCO for a second, that was all PCO. Oh, and a suplex by Alexander. I spoke too soon there. Alexander turning things around again. Trying to get to the corner, trying to make a tag to Jonah, and PCO takes away the tag option. And Jonah might have hit the stairs a little bit there on his way down. A little extra damage. Oh, right to the chest. Alexander trying to handle the freak here at the multiverse of matches. Oh, PCO, oh, driven down by a German suplex, the bridge, and a kick out. And let's not undersell how much of a feat it is to lift PCO off his feet like that. Here, 300 pounds, and listen, Alexander, he understands what he's got to focus on. One thing at a time here, he wants to get his hands on Moose of Rebellion. Deal with PCO right now the same way he dealt with obstacles like Suzuki, Jonah, Charlie Haas. It's all about getting the Rebellion and the Impact World Championship. goes up, bad things come down. Oh, for the PCO saw, but Alexander rolled out of the way. And now PCO desperately needs to make a tag. It's Moose to meet Jonah. Jonah blows right through the clothesline of Moose. And now with a full head of steam. champion inside out. Jonah, 330 pounds, leaping into the corner. The big man, the top dog, moving like a freight train. Uh-oh. Oh, for a senton, and Moose rolled away. Now Jonah makes a tag to Josh Alexander. Moose tags out his PCO to meet Alexander. Again, quick tags. Always something different. And a clothesline by PCO sends Jonah out of the ring. Alexander sent over the top. A human cannonball of carnage. PCO flying through the ropes, taking out both of his opponents. And now PCO dumping Alexander back inside. You can see him draping Alexander across the apron there. Oh God. And I, you, you know where my brain's going. As he climbs the rope one step at a time. 
You know what he's looking for, Tom. Ah, the D animator! It hurts to watch every time I see it. PCO grabbing at his shoulder. It, it looked like his head as well bounced off the apron. It's oddly reassuring to know that he feels pain sometimes. Now Jonah slides into the ring. Oh, and a super kick by the super heavyweight! Oh, and now Alexander, Alexander gets his hands on Moose! Moose back up to his feet. Tag team contest. The four corners occupied by the four participants. A star studded tag team matchup with some very unsteady alliances all being. And now Jonah and Alexander heading after Moose and PCO. So many hard oh. in here. Oh, the two big men, same idea. Now it is Alexander and Moose left trading blows in the middle of the ring. A little preview here of Rebellion right in front of our eyes. And here are these strikes from Alexander and a headbutt by Moose. Right to the face. Oh, hold on a second now, Alexander. Alexander's going for the ankle. And he's got it. He's got the world champion in the middle of the ring. And Moose, Moose able to wriggle free there for a moment. Perhaps that damage to the wrist help. Uh oh. Thinking about the C4 spike, and Moose able to roll free. Gets out of dodge. That is the last thing Moose wants to see come rebellion. Oh, now it's PCO. And Moose seems to be content to stay on the outside of the ring. Alexander and PCO are legal. Whoa, 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 whoa. C4 Man. spike. Cover. Alexander stares down Moose and gets the win. Josh Alexander and Jonah withstand the battle and somehow PCO sat up there for a moment. And Josh Alexander has not stopped staring a hole into the Impact World Champion. Moose realized that he wanted no part of what Josh Alexander was bringing. Your winners of the match, the top dog, Jonah, and the walking weapon, Josh Alexander. And at Rebellion, the world's championship hangs in the balance in a heated rivalry. Moose defending his championship against Josh Alexander. What's going to happen on April 23rd? Tonight on Impact Wrestling, you'll see Jonah versus PCO, two, as these two want to rip each other apart. Well, that's still to come right here on BTI Knockouts action between Madison Rain and Jesse McKay. Don't go anywhere, folks. BTI continues with more right after this. Welcome back to BTI as we get ready for an all new Impact Wrestling. As we get ready for Rebellion, we're looking back at Impact Wrestling's multiverse of matches from April 1st in Dallas. Ultimate X return, and I can't wait to look at that match. But first, let's take a look back when couples collided. Matt Cardona and Chelsea Green versus Mickey James and Nick Aldis. Let's go back to Dallas right now, folks. Impact Wrestling's multiverse of matches. Couples colliding right here for your viewing pleasure. What else can you ask for? Chelsea Green back in legal into the match of Mickey James. A little bit of a window of opportunity there to try and get to Nick Aldis. A little oh. bit was not quite enough for Hardcore Country himself. Tag made. Back in comes Cardona. Quick tags. Back. This is like, look how well oiled the machine Matt and Chelsea are. 
Going for the reboot. Dean James able to get out of Dodge. Think about Radio Sports. Oh, it's instead of Pancake. Take it. Dick Holden finally gets a shot. His first match at Impact in five years. The first English Impact World Champion. Now to show what he thinks of all this. Clothesline by the National Treasure. A little bit of for you. Back elbow there by Cardona. The raw power. Oh, and over a pile driver. And now Nick Aldis is going up top. He wants to put this one away. Bang! Oh, drop right into the heart of Cardona. To win this matchup, and you could see Cardona. He yelled at Chelsea, and Green came in and saved her husband. What a great wife. Yeah, having your husband's back. And oh. James comes flying in. Seen it sets out off the top. Becky oh, Chase oh, hit with a pump kick there by Green. Oh, Double knees right to the face of Aldis. Oh, uh -oh. Jump to the outside by Aldis. All the way to the floor, and now it is just Aldis in Green. Now Chelsea Green not backing down from Nick Aldis. Nick Aldis not backing down from Chelsea Green. <laughs> Could it be time for the Kingsley? Cloverleaf and Cardona back into the match. And just like Chelsea before having her husband's back, Matt has Chelsea's back as well. in that match. I can't wait to get back to Dallas to see what else took place. How about the Knockouts World Tag Team titles being on the line? There was a lot of participants looking to get their hands on gold in this one. As the influence faced off against Decay, Savannah Evans and Tasha Steeles, and the unlikely pairing of Giselle and Lady Frost. Power me power, Savannah Evans comes barreling. Oh! The hits just keep on coming. Driven down by Dashwood. Oh, and a cutter by Steeles. Everyone's firing off here at the Multiverse of Matches. And Madison Rain looking to take out the Knockouts World Champion. Oh. Same idea. Both wrestlers down in the ring. Rain and Steeles are down. Everybody's down. A waterfall of action in this matchup. Chance for Rosemary here at WrestleCon. Can we talked about Tasha Steeles maybe collecting belts. Can you imagine the momentum Rosemary would have going into her Knockouts World Championship match with Tag Team Gold? Now Savannah Evans and Tasha Steeles going after Decay. And a fight is broken out between these two teams specifically, spilling out of the ring. Steeles and Rosemary, a preview of Rebellion. Look at these two going at it. But meanwhile, back inside the ring. This matchup has to end in the ring. Remember that. Oh, and Shaw and Frost continue to work well together. They drop the champions. Stereo kicks there. Well, look at this cohesiveness. I am absolutely shocked. 
Going to the top turnbuckle. Oh, and the influence went after Frost. But look at Giselle Shaw. Still perched there. Oh, big uppercut there by Shaw. Trying to fend off two at the same time. Whoa, look at that huge knee strike that's worked for her in the past. But here comes the influence. Oh, spikes on top of her head when Shaw, the influence retained. Here's your winners and still Impact Knockout World's Tag Team Champions, Danilo Dashwood, Madison Rain, the influence. I suppose we got our answer to the question of whether or not the influence needed assistance from Caleb with a K. They did just fine. There is a reason that they are the Knockout World Tag Team Champions. It's going to be an absolutely amazing night when we get to Rebellion, when we get to New York. It's going to be an amazing night here as we get ready for Impact Wrestling. And still to come here tonight on BTI, Jesse McKay of The Inspiration takes on one half of the Knockouts World Tag Team Champions from The Influence. It's Madison Rain. Don't go anywhere, guys. BTI continues right after this. Welcome back to BTI here as we get ready for Impact Wrestling right around the corner. But right now it's time for our favorite part of the show. And there was a lot of wrestlers in Dallas. So there was probably some drama happening oh, in, yeah. what do they call Texas? I don't remember, with the big, the, uh, Lone, Star the Lone Star State. Yeah. yeah, well, a lot of drama in the Lone Star State. And we're gonna spill the tea right here. Well, Thanks. first we have to get through what everyone thought was great and happy. Yeah, get your teacups ready. I'm warming it up for you, Josh. I don't drink tea. Here's the social media top five, folks. And now, the social media top five moments on BTI. Number five. Eddie Edwards shed some light on why he represented pro wrestling Noah at Multiverse of Matches. Number four. Chris Saban had a lot to say after his hard fought victory over Jay White. Number three. Taya Valkyrie makes a promise to become a four time Reina de Reina's champion at Rebellion. Number two. Man, there were so many great moments from this match, we couldn't just pick one. All of the highlights from Alex Shelley versus Speedball Mike Bailey. And at number one. What an announcement. The Briscoes return to Impact on April 24th in Poughkeepsie. Ding, 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 ding. She's ready. Oh, ready. Thanks. Hot. Piping hot. Piping hot. Yep. I'll get mine. Spill it all over the place yep. and listen to what everyone had to say. And who was the best at it? Trash talking. Here's your clapback moment of the week. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. The clapback moment of the week is a very ominous message from Rosemary to Taya Valkyrie, who, despite her return, may not be sticking around for too long, according to this. Well, what happens in Dallas ends up on social media. You ready for a uh, little intel? Oh, always ready. Got my notebook. Hey, you don't have a notebook. Yeah, I do. You can't just lie to people yeah. and no. say that you I, got I something. I've got my tea right no. here. I've got my notebook and my pen. I'm ready to go. It's invisible. Iceman, this week your intel is Gia Miller is a liar. Take it away. Welcome to Iceman's Intel. I'm George Iceman. Just a reminder, follow me on Twitter at I am George Iceman. Let's talk about Diana Perazzo. The champ champ challenge continues, but not without controversy. See, she's holding two titles, but just recently on the Super Card of Honor, ROH crowned a new interim women's champion in Mercedes Martinez. They got two titles. Now you have Miss Diana Perazzo walking around with two titles. And she's putting out an open challenge tonight on Access. Who will step up? Who will answer the challenge? And what happens to the title if she's victorious and walks out? She now has to defend her AAA title against the returning Taya Valkyrie at Rebellion. That's only if she walks out of Philly. Still, champ champ. Lots of questions to be answered. Let's tune into Access and Impact tonight. All right, X-Man, thank you very much. We're gonna take a short break, folks. We're gonna send things to ringside inside the Impact Zone as Tom Hannafin and Matthew Raywalt take it away right now for our BTI exclusive match of the week. It's Knockouts Action.
Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest set for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by Caleb with a K and representing the influence, one half of the Knockouts World Tag Team Champions, Medicine Green. Things don't seem to be going all that well within the influence, do they? It's, it's been a rough couple of weeks, months. It's all dragged on so long. I mean, I've often said that I, I feel for Caleb. I, I don't know what Neil Dashwood is bringing the steel chair to, to ringside here. There's clearly, they have something in mind as, as Madison Rain gets set for singles action here. And Madison Rain is due to face Jesse McKay or the inspiration right now. They're trying to make sure Caleb stays seated in one place. Not even, not even allowed to take pictures, which is his specialty. He's so good at it. Dashwood and Madison Rain, they've been grilling Caleb with a K over the last few weeks of where his allegiances lie. Now, in the match where they won the Impact Knockouts World Tag Team titles from the inspiration, it was Caleb who slid the title into the ring. However, there are plenty of questions whether he meant to slide it to the inspiration or the influence. I believe in my heart he meant to help his crew, the inspiration, but, excuse me, influence. Freudian slip. Her opponent representing the inspiration and accompanied to the ring by Cassie Lee from Sydney, Australia, Jesse McKay. Jesse McKay and Cassie Lee, they're gonna have their opportunity at the Rebellion event one week from Saturday, live on pay-per-view and Fight TV, April 23rd in Poughkeepsie, New York, to reclaim the Impact Knockouts World Tag Team titles, or contractual rematch. Hello, hello, I love seeing them, how about you? <laughs> I don't like them seeing you and being nice, but it's always great to see some knockouts, tag team action. Tonight we're getting some singles, but like you said, Rebellion, the titles will be on the line between these two teams. That's gonna be good. The inspiration, the only team they've ever lost to here in Impact Wrestling in a conventional tag team match has been the influence. I'm very curious to see how things go because Caleb's I don't know, limbo that he's living in. Right now he's sitting on a chair at ringside and not too far off from what the influence made him do. And they had the gaff tape, remember? They had yes. a handle on yes. spot. So they're trying to can't forget. Trying to make him sit, stay, and be a good boy. Trains oh, first. Like that. Which, you know how much sympathy I've had. I think he does great work. I think he's tried so hard, but even I'm starting to get a little bit tired of his lack. Lack of a declaration, if you will. Matthew, you've been on social media talking about it. You want to get another dog. Maybe this is the perfect thing to adopt. Caleb. I mean, he does have opposable thumbs. <laughs> Jesse, all over Madison Rain right now. That was inspiring. Oh, Jesse tied up with Madison Rain. Shoulders down and a kick out by Rain. Trying to give us a little preview. That Knockouts World Tag Team Championship match. The influence, of course, able to survive a fatal four way at the Multiverse of Matches a couple of weeks ago. They retain their titles, but right there using the officials' involvement to help Madison Rain take advantage all over Jesse McKay. Here's a cover and a kick out. This singles match is going to continue here on PTI. Thank you for joining us on Impact Plus YouTube and Facebook. It is Madison Rain one-on-one with Jesse McKay. It appears Tennille Dashwood has taken over as the official photographer of the influence because Caleb with a K has literally been made to have a seat at ringside and they took away his phone. He has been relegated to the chair to sit still, do nothing. Which I, you know, I appreciate the confidence of the influence to get this all done on their own. Cover Madison Rain especially. By Rain kick out by McKay. Caleb was instrumental, I would argue, in the influence capturing the titles in the first place from all the inspiration at the sacrifice event. And now, the question is, how much is he going to be involved? There's a cover by Rain and a kick out. Not just how much, if at all, and where, where, where do these loyalties lie? Because even I, I'm getting tired. I want to know. I need to know. 
seems that there's a, a flirtation, maybe, maybe, between Jesse and Caleb. What do you think? I mean, I think there's an appreciation for the talent. That's what it's always seemed like. They appreciate what he brought to the table, which I do not blame the inspiration for whatsoever. But he has just been so wishy Hold on, rain into the cover, kick out. And back and forth, it seems, with both. I just, I need to know. Madison Rain's been all over Jesse McKay throughout this matchup. Northern Lights suplex, here's the cover. Great bridge and a kick out by Jesse. And Madison Rain can't believe it. I can't believe it either. We're talking about a multi-time champion here at Impact in Madison Rain. Madison Rain has captured eight total titles within the knockouts division that has tied the Impact Hall of Famer Gail Kim for the most ever by a knockout in this company's history. Jesse McKay would have score a victory over her tonight. That would be huge momentum heading into Rebellion. Well, considering what's already going on with the influence, clearly Dashwood and Rain are preoccupied with what's going on with Caleb. It took away his phone like he's a four-year-old on a plane or something like that. On the back here, thinking about a sleeper, and Jesse able to back up Rain into the top turnbuckle. Let's hope they can get it together. Oh. Ahead of that championship matchup, though. Snapmare takedown by Jesse. Jesse recently competed in the Knockouts Battle Royal, was trying to capture an Impact Knockouts World Title opportunity at Rebellion. Back into the ring and down goes Rain. And Jesse McKay trying to build some momentum. Ooh, and a big right. Starting to turn it up. It's Jesse McKay. Great job by McKay. Modify suplex. Here's the cover kick out by Rain. Madison Rain trying to hang in this matchup. Jesse McKay has found an opening, found a window, but this is the point in the match. She's got to keep her foot on that gas pedal. Cassie Lee trying to support Jesse McKay from the outside. Oh, hold on a second, was trying to set up. Rain countered. Ooh, step up and security by Rain. Beautiful. Cover, shoulders down. Jesse gets the shoulder up in time. Just in time, and look at the eyes of Madison Rain. She cannot believe it. She thought that was it. Madison Rain has thought multiple times that she's been able to put away Jesse McKay here on BTI, and Jesse keeps coming. Showing just how much hard he is. Oh, goodness. Boot to the face of the official. Incidental contact. Rain ducked and hit the official. Ooh. And both wrestlers, same idea with the Lariat taking each other down. Everybody in this matchup is now down. Caleb was supposed to just sit. Dashwood's trying to get Caleb to, to throw the table, to throw the chair in the ring. and the referee's down. The chair between Jesse and Madison. Oh. And now they're gonna fight for it. Whoever gets advantage of this is... Yeah. And Rain tossed the chair out of the ring after the contact. Oh. Face first into the apron. The referee comes to... Rain puts away McKay. Here is your winner, Madison Rain. Caleb was pulled in both directions. Tennille Dashwood telling him to give it to Madison Rain. Cassie Lee telling him to get it to Jesse McKay. And, and still, the influence don't seem to want to have any part of Caleb right now. Well, look, Caleb wants his phone back. I've been on the on the back, on the side of Caleb here for most of this, but man, any 
decision is better than indecision. We, human beings have learned that throughout history. I don't know if Caleb has learned that. are absolutely done with him at this point. Guys, we'll check back in with you in just a second. But Gia, it's time right now. Time to talk about what you're looking forward to here tonight. Nine nights away from Rebellion, the penultimate impact wrestling. That means yeah. second to last. I, I mean, know you're excited th for it all. There's so much that's going to happen tonight. I'm just ready to see it all. Gia's still mad at me because I didn't wish her a happy birthday Correct. last week on the show. No. It I got your, something on Twitter, though. It was your birthday. Yep. She's 47 years old, folks. So happy birthday. Okay. 
for Jim Miller. I'm Josh Matthews. Thanks for joining us this week here on BTI. We'll be back and better than ever next week.